question is Sharpie's fibers are the options are periodontal ligament fibers which connect cementum to gingiva, composed of elastic fibers, pedial fibers that resist apical displacement of tooth, and pedial fibers connecting the cementum to the alveolar bone. Okay, so as we all know, the tooth and the alveolar socket joint is a gomphosis joint. What do we what do we mean by a gomphosis joint? Is that there is a a uh, ligament that is present within the between the two hard structures and they are the two hard structures are connected to each other by this ligament so in <coughs> sorry in the oral cavity this hard structure this connecting structure is nothing but the periodontal ligament so if this is my tooth and if this is my alveolar bone the alveolar bone is suspended in the socket with the help of fibers and whatever movement of the tooth occurs is because of the movement of these fibers that are there. Now, in order for the tooth to be suspended in the socket and be attached to the socket, the periodontal ligament has to insert itself both within the tooth and as well as within the alveolar bone so that there is some form of anchorage for the ligament fibers. If there is no going to be no anchorage and if the fibers are just going to be present as it is without there is being without them getting attached to the uh, tooth or the bone, I can easily pull out the tooth from the socket. Anything can happen and the tooth can be just easily be taken off from the socket. And that is the reason why the principal fibers of the periodontal ligament are attached both to the tooth as well as the bone. Now, uh, the cementum, one of the main functions of the cementum is that it provides a furnishing medium for the periodontal fibers to get anchored onto the tooth. Therefore, the cementum provides one important function of uh, attachment. The alveolar bone has the other function, provides a second function, which is again attachment is a very important function again of the alveolar bone. Now, coming when you take a cross section of this uh, periodontal ligament along with a part of the tooth structure as well as the alveolar bone. You will see that you have the periodontal ligament which has the typical hourglass appearance. Apart from that hourglass appearance of the periodontal ligament where you have the fibers that are attached, you will see some fi the, fi the principal fibers. You will see some fibers of this principal fibers the that are getting extended into the alveolar bone as well as into the tooth structure. And it is these fibers which are called as the Sharpie's fibers. Now these Sharpie's fibers are very important. Why? Because they have a very important property and that property is that they are calcified. And it is this calcification that provides them the property of anchorage. Okay. So it's like when I have to put my ship, I want to ensure that my ship has to stay in place. It has to not move at all. So what do I do is I just drop the anchor. The anchor goes deep into the sand and it just stays over there. That is the same function that the Sharpie's fibers are doing. They are actually the fi principal fibers of the periodontal ligament that have gone and they have sat into the bone as well as the cementum and they are calcified over there so that it becomes very difficult for the Sharpie's fibers to be separated. So as a result, the PDL will not be separated from the tooth structure. Now these Sharpie's fibers again, one important thing that you need to remember is they are thicker on the side of the alveolar bone and they are thinner on the side of the cementum. Why is that so? It's because bone has the ability to uh, turn over. There is continuous resorption as well as deposition of bone that occurs at a regular basis and at a regular point in time. So that is why the Sharpie's fibers which are there, they need to provide more uh, anchorage. And in order to provide this greater anchorage, in the Sharpie's fibers, they are thicker within the bone as compared to that of the cementum. So that is why now coming to the answer to the question that you see over here, Sharpie's fibers are PDL fibers connecting the cementum to the alveolar bone.